Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again to the European League Championship Series, broadcast to you live from our studios here in Cologne, Germany. I am Lee Heeman Smith, and alongside me is Martin Deficio Lunga. And we are ready to bring you a super week full of exciting matches. That's right, D-Man. And it's our eighth week of competition, and we have 16 games between today and Thursday. And as we have seen all season long, that simply means the standings can really change over the next three days. So let's take a look at the table to see where we are before it all begins. At the top of the table, it is tied. Gambit and Rockat, they're at 10 wins and six apiece, and they are playing each other today. Third place, SK Gaming. They are on a charge right now. Four wins, one loss. You can see they are nine wins, seven loss overall. They could take the top of the table today. And at fourth place, we have a three-way tie between Copenhagen Wolves, Fnatic, and Super Hot Crew. All three teams are eight for eight, and Copenhagen Wolves down a four-game win streak. Seventh place, we got Alliance, who really needs to start to step up to live up to the hype, with six wins and ten losses. And eighth place, we got Millennium, who's desperate for some wins on five wins and eleven losses. Now, here are the games that could be shaking up those standings today. First up, it's the Copenhagen Wolves. As you heard, they're on that four-game win streak, and they're up against Fnatic. Well, they're only at one and eight over the last nine games. Incredible story for them. But there it is, the tie top of the table, Rockat versus Gambit. Who will become out victorious? Then we have SK Gaming taking on Millennium. We could follow that up with Subar Crew against Alliance, a game where both teams really want to win to get the Super Week starting. And then we have Rocket taking on the bottom place Millennium in the last match of the day. And with double the amount of matches this week, the teams have a lot to focus on. With that in mind, these are the players that we'll be watching closely. First up, it's the man in the jungle, Sven Skeren. He has been playing superbly over the last few weeks, forcing his opponents to use Pantheon bands against him. This hasn't stopped him, though, switching to Evelyn with great success. He is a big part of SK Gaming's strong gameplay right now. Next up, well, it's amazing. He's been MVP for two weeks running now, and much like Sven Skeren, he has been wrecking from the jungle on Lee Sin. You just saw one of those hashtag LCS big plays in the preview show, and the four-game win streak for the Copenhagen Wolves is certainly due in part to his great form. And I'll keep the jungle trend going and have Aaron Nier as a player to watch. He went on Twitter after the loss against Copenhagen Wolves, and he simply said, I guess my days in the LCS are almost over. So we need to see if Aaron here is able to step up his performance and get some of his confidence back. And sticking to the Millennium players, I have Kerb of our players to watch. Kerb, he's a playmaker and every single time we've seen him on Assassins, he's been having strong early game rooms in favor of the team. Lately though, he's been moving away from these Assassins and not been having the same impact. I want to see him back on early game champions and have him pressure the map early on. Millennium, they really need to win this week. And for me, Kerb performing and winning the early game for them is one of the keys to success. Source is my last player to watch. He stuck to the AP top laners and had his second game on Lulu where he completely dominated Darren in lane and picked up first blood together with Cyanide. It was fantastic, fantastic to see him and Fnatic with such a strong early game and they punished Gambit every single time they had the chance. If Source can keep up this performance and dominate the lane like he did versus Gambit, then I actually expect things will look great for Fnatic once again. Fantastic stuff. We'll see how it goes. Remember, you can track the stats for these players, check out the schedule, watch the VODs, and much more all over at lollysports.com. You can also vote on which teams you think will be winning throughout the day. Click on the schedule link and then make your choices for each of today's matches. We'll be checking in as each game begins to see how you voted. You can also get ticket information while you're there. Just visit the link at the top of the page and then join us here in Cologne to see these teams compete live in our studio. Yeah, we'd also love to hear from you on Twitter. Find us at LOL Esports. And today we'd like to tell you to tell us which European team do you think will benefit the most from this Super Week and why? I could actually see Fnatic benefit really well. If they can keep winning here, they got the win, they got the confidence. If they can keep it going, pick up three or four wins this week, it's going to look great for them. But remember, we want to hear from you guys, so just be sure to use the hashtag LCS with these.